Hello everybody, it is me, Jones MJ here, and welcome back to another video. Now before we begin, I have a couple announcements to make. Number one, I am starting to become a lot more active on my Twitter account, so if you guys want to go ahead and follow me at Jones underscore RMJ, or lowercase, that is my Twitter, um, at sign, or whatever you want to call that thing, I don't even know what it's called, but <laughs> I'm starting to be more active on my Twitter account where basically I'll post updates and when I release my videos and I'll maybe even start posting polls where you guys can vote what types of videos you want me to make next. So yeah, go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you guys want to see, be the first to know when I release new videos and also want to vote on what videos I make next. I'll go ahead and leave a link to my Twitter in the description as I've always done. I also have a Discord server if you guys want to go ahead and join it. Um, the invite will be also be in the description as well. Basically on Discord you can go ahead and chat with me about whatever you want and if I'm online I'll try and respond to you as quickly as possible. So. <laughs> Yeah, just a few quick announcements I wanted to make. So anyway, here we are back with another Minecraft video. Now, it's actually been quite a while since I made a Minecraft video, mainly because um, my latest Minecraft videos have not been really getting that many views, number one. And number two, I... Um, I like have also been like really busy and I want to focus on some other video topics as well, mainly my like architecture videos because you guys seem to really enjoy those, so I've been focusing mostly on those. And number three, um, well, you'll notice that we're in my city again, but you'll notice one thing. Where did this building go, and where did that, and where did the building that I was working on earlier from here go? And that is, well, to be honest, I wasn't really the biggest fan of where my city was going, and so I kind of want to start over. I didn't really like the, the this building that I had right here originally, and the building that I was planning right here just didn't really turn out that great, so I decided to just quickly start over. I did still really like my world residential building, so I rebuilt it, but I also wanted to just make this building better on the inside, so I felt like I made the floor the ceiling height too low in my last build, and I also feel like it wasn't realistic, like there weren't lights in the ceiling, and I didn't really make the interior as realistic as I wanted to, so I just decided to kind of restart building my city, but still wanted to build a lot some of the same buildings, just wanted to redesign them, so... Yeah, anyway, this is kind of like a version 2 of my World Residential Center, so it pretty much is exactly like the same kind of stuff on the inside, but obviously I dramatically updated it to make it look a lot nicer on the inside and stuff. So without further ado, enough rambling on, let's get toying into it. So if you guys remember from my last video, yeah, it's going to be a lot of repeats of some things from my original World Residential Center. Um, you guys know of my friend Shiv, aka Shivy Kabaf. He was in one of my Android Summit vlogs, if you guys seen that. Um, I decided to dedicate a little part of this building that where he could create like a tech startup called Shifty Shiv Corporation. Don't ask me why I called it that, but <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, you're going to notice right away, guys, I spent a lot more time designing the interiors, and I just think everything looks so much better that I've done. So once again, this is just kind of like a security slash welcome desk. The elevators are over there, and actually, just like the original, um, Shifty Shiv, there's a cafe over here, so like once again this way you can kind of line up and order food and stuff, there's a mini little kitchen back here, um, decided to do this little cabinet design with the item frames and the pressure plates, um, did some like little item frames and food on top to kind of do like plates of food, and then over here is a small little sitting area, and of course the game has to start raining right away, so... Yeah, and here's kind of like a, well, I'll go out here. Here's kind of like a, another way to get into the Shifty Shiv Corporation. <laughs> this is the back side of the building because right there's going to be like the parking garage and stuff for this building as well. I'm going to build an underground parking garage, which, by the way, for you guys wondering, the super flat ward is I did customize it to make it 20 blocks deep in case if I want to do like a metro or underground parking garages or stuff like that. I want to make this realistic and do some stuff underground as well, which I actually haven't done quite yet, but... You will see. Oh, oops, I did, forgot to show you the upstairs of Shifty Shiv, so let's take the elevators up. Um, floor one. Let's just go up. This I it's up. Now, because I made the floor the ceiling height taller while still making the building the same height, the floor ceiling height is now four blocks instead of three, and it's two blocks, so I can do a ceiling and a floor. Um, the, the, I am only able to do, this building has less floors, the old one had like 50 something floors, this one only has like 38 floors, but 
I, I think in return the interior is much better looking. So over here we have a nice little conference table. Um and then yeah, these are for those guys wondering what this light design is, it's just be these are beacons, and then this is quartz. I just I really like the way this looks. I think it looks really modern to do like stripes of beacons like that as the ceiling. And then over here, um I don't know how I came up with this, but I just kinda started placing blocks and liked it. I kind of did these little office cubicles, but I, I want to make them more open than I did last time, and a little more simple and modern, so I think I did a better job this time around when designing them. Um, once again, there's some more office cubicles on this side as well, and you'll actually notice this wall design is going to appear a lot in this video. I just, I don't know what it is about, but it, it's just simple, and but I like it a lot. It just looks so nice, I think. Um, there is a bathroom on every floor. Um, in this building, in Shifty Shiv's um, corporation, I decided to just do single star bathrooms because, well, I don't know, I didn't really have too much space. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of space for other stuff, but yeah. And then if we go all the way up to floor three, um, um, once again over here, there are some more office cubicles over there. And then over here is is the ultimate uh, CEO's chair or desk, I should say, right here. CEO and founder of Shifty Shift, Shift Hedge Lakakala, that's his name. So this is where you can like recruit, recruit people or something. I don't know, Shifty Shift would sit right here at his desk with his laptop or computer right there, whatever you want to call that. And then to, he can have meetings here, private meetings, or he can have bigger meetings in the conference desk down below. So there you guys go. There's a quick little tour of uh, the my updated Shifty Shift headquarters. Um, just so you know, guys, I'm gonna kind of rush. I'm not. Well, I'm not really. I'm, I'm. It might sound like I'm kind of rushing this tour, but that's just because I want to get through things quickly. Because number one, I don't want this video to be super long. Number two, the, a lot. Some of the stuff is just extremely similar, just obviously significantly upgraded interior. So, yep. Here you go. Here's the main entrance to World Residential Center. So let's go ahead and walk inside. Just like before, these steps lead down to the observation deck entrance, which we will go down in a second, as you can see, it says observation deck. Then if we actually go all the way over here, well, this is another entrance right here to the building, but right here, as you can see, is the Ward Residential Center. Um, well, this like, I don't know, the security desk, I guess you could say, right here. Um, once again, you guys will see this design a lot throughout my buildings with the lovely design. <laughs> this butch wood stale slab and plank design with lanterns, um, planted pots and paintings. I just, I don't know what it is. I just really love this, the way this looks. It just helps, it helps, like, like, if you guys want to ask me for building advice, if you have a wall and you just don't know what to put there to make it look a little different than just a boring wall, do something like this. It, I'm telling you, it looks really good. So, over there are the elevators to access the residential units. As you can see, there's a sign right here, which we will, the main elevators, which we'll go over there in just a second, but let's go over here first. Um, right here are parking garage elevators. So, I actually haven't built the parking garage yet, as you can see, but eventually, with those um, garage doors were over there, um, they're eventually gonna actually lead to a, a road that goes underground, and then these elevators will be able to access the parking garage, but I didn't build a parking garage yet. I think that's something I'm gonna build later if I'm just bored and don't feel like building any new buildings, but wanna build something. Um, right here are some restrooms, so obviously on every floor of my building I did do restrooms, men and women. Um, here the men room, the men's room has obviously urinals, stalls in here with toilets, oh oops. Did not mean to break the trap door, but yeah, like that. Um, then right here we've got uh, some sinks and it's supposed to be a mirror up there. I mean, that's as close as you can get in Minecraft. And then obviously the women's bathroom is exactly the same thing, just no urinals. So that's that. And then over here I have a nice, let me just quickly set the time today. Over here once again we got a nice lounge where you can sit, watch TV over there, and you know, stuff like that. So. And it is a quick rundown of the first floor. So let's go upstairs. You know, it's like I said, the layout of everything is very similar to my original building. I just obviously dramatically updated the interior to make it look a lot better. So here we go. Let's go up to floor two. So just like in my previous building, I have an indoor pool, lap pool. And once again, I made the indoor pool, I think, look a lot better. Um, added a lot more green accents and stuff. You can see plenty of chairs over there, some tables. Um, and then all the way over here is a jacuzzi. And then I actually made the pool a little bit deeper this time around. Instead of three blocks deep, I actually made it four blocks deep in the deep end this time around. So let's do, let's go ahead and do a quick lap of swimming. Take your marks. Go. 
and uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I can't do the swim thing in creative mode, or at least not on Java edition, but let's slowly swim at 25, there we go, that was probably a record low for 25, <laughs> oh well. So there we go, there's our nice little lap pool. Um, once again, plenty of lounging around here. Just like before, I want to make this, I wanted to make this building open and modern, while also still having a decent amount of detail, so you'll notice stuff. Once again, like this design, you're going to see it a lot throughout the building. Once again, more lounging, more TVs, um, some bathrooms over here, but obviously I'm not going to go into every single bathroom because I don't think you guys really care. <laughs> um, and here is the fitness center, which I... Of upgraded, I think, from my last build. Um, right here is like the check-in desk, I think, for the fitness center. Um, you've got um, some weights right here. I think these look a little better than my previous weight design I used in my old building. Once again, you've got some treadmills right here. <laughs> um, I know you can actually make like kind of like working treadmills <laughs> with redstone, but I didn't want to do that just because it takes up too much space with redstone. Um, once again, more treadmills, and then uh, oh, why didn't I put the iron bar here? Um, but yeah, right here is a is the stationary bikes. These are the stationary bikes that you can uh, kind of use like that. And then right here is just an area where if you're tired of working out and just want to take sit down, take a break, you can right here. And once again, this is a very nice view, except for the rain, which let's get rid of. But this is a very nice view, and eventually right out here is going to be a park. So yeah, I'll do a video when I build the a park because right next to this building, I want to build a nice park right here. So, not like not like a huge park, and it's not going to be like the main park of the city, but like a small, but still nice park. So this will soon be a very nice view to be walking out to and then look outside. So there you go, that is just a quick look at the fitness center. Um, that is about it for this floor. So let's go ahead up to floor 3. Floor 3, once again, you'll notice a lot of lounging around. If we go all the way over here, though... Once again, more restrooms over here, men and women. Right here, I decided to, once again, keep a restaurant in this building, although I made it smaller and I think, honestly, more detailed. And because I call this the Ward Residential Center, I don't know why I came up with this name, but I just call it Ward Ride Grill Restaurant. So, <laughs> once again, right here is the please wait to be seated. So, we've got some nice uh, tables and chairs and whatnot around here. These are supposed to be, like, the little areas where the waiters can, like, come here real quickly if they need to get you a drink or something or get something they can do that here that's i also have another one of these areas over here as well yep right here and then in here is the kitchen so i'm not really that great at making good looking kitchens so i i don't know i just kind of placed blocks and i think it looks fine i mean got some food like right around here that could be waiting to be taken by the waiters and i mean i kind of had an awkward dimension to make this kitchen but i don't know i actually i do kind of like the way this turned out I'm not the best at making kitchens, so if you guys have ideas to help me make it look better, let me know down in the comments below. Alright, so that is the quick little restaurant that we've built in here. And then if we go all the way over here, just like in my original building, we have an auditorium slash theater. And I think this time it looks so much better. I really took my time designing it this time around. And I, I love the ceiling design I did up here. And I love the little like wall design. And then once again up here is a big screen back here and a lectern so somebody is presenting they can stand up here. Or, actually hold on a second, why does that look like that? Is that a block? Oh, I accidentally I think deleted one of my slabs. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay. Man, I made so many mistakes building without even realizing it. <laughs> Sorry about this guys. Alright, let's get that nether brick slab and fix it. There we go. So yeah, I really took my design, design the ceiling, I think it looks pretty good. And once again, plenty of seats and stuff, so if people want to watch a movie here or do a presentation or something, nice little place for the residents to do that. So let's go ahead and close that. And then finally, the last amenity floor, floor 4, um, up here, this is just like a residential services desk, so if you, I don't know, like need a towel or housekeeping or something, this is like the check-in, well not the check-in desk, but like a desk where you go to ask, to ask for a service. So that's what this is right here. Um, over here, um, small little lounge right here. Once again, another TV. So plenty of seating and stuff. And then if we go over here, notice right here is a little sign that says pool and ping pong, outdoor deck and outdoor pool. So let's go here. Once again, more restrooms right here, men and women. If you need to use the bathroom, 
Um, as you can see right here, we got pool table right here, about the best I can do in Minecraft. <laughs> and then right here is a nice little ping pong table, and this is supposed to be like the net in between, but... Oh well, best you can do in Minecraft, I guess. <laughs> then if we go out here, out here is the main outdoor deck, just like before. I have a gigantic outdoor pool right here. Um, plenty of trees and stuff to help add into some nice greenery, and here's a nice little view of looking straight up at the building. <laughs> nice little view. And then, once again, plenty of seating around here if you want to lounge by the pool, or if you want to be at, sit at a table, or just sit with each other. I thought about putting a fireplace right here, but I think these are too close together to really do a fireplace, so I decided against it. So yeah, that is uh, this floor. So just like before, as you get higher up into the building, you get to the different tiers. Um, the residential units do change a little bit, so obviously... I'll show you I'll show you one of the residential units on each floor. So let's go up to floor five, which is the first floor for residential units. So on each floor I just decided to do one residential unit so I could make them as detailed as possible. And I'm telling you guys, I think when I redesigned this building, I really think each residential unit looks so so much better than before. So you guys let me know what you think. So let's go ahead. This is room five oh one. Alright, so, got kind of a nice little entrance corridor. Um, if we go over here, right here is the kitchen. This is actually, I forget what this block is. It's the polished diorite. I don't know how to pronounce that. I th if I'm pronouncing that, great. If not, then sorry guys. But once again, right here, I've got a nice kitchen with my little cup of design, crafting table, furnaces, um, a sink right here. Um, and chests, so you can actually store stuff up here, because unfortunately while these cabinets do look nice, you actually can't store stuff in them. And why do we have this random carpet in the interior? In my, uh, inventory. I understand why I have the night vision potion for when I was originally building this, but... Yeah, and actually, you know what, because we're inside, I'm not gonna worry about changing the weather and stuff. And as you can see, right here is a table where you can sit and enjoy the nice view. Well, unfortunately, it's not quite a nice view yet, because there's not much built around, but once there is, this will be a very nice view. And for you guys wondering why I didn't put chairs on this side, it's because who would want to be facing this way when there is this grand view right behind you? So that is why I did not put any chairs right here. So that is the kitchen. Now if we go over here, this is the uh, living room. So we've got a nice big TV, um, a nice couch right here. You can sit down and watch some TV. And then I didn't really know what to put here, so I just left some open space. And I don't know, I just put another little seat right there. I didn't really know what to fill this space with, so kind of just did that. So let's go ahead and check out, well, the bathroom and then the bedroom. So the bathroom is actually all the way over here. So every single unit has double sinks, a mirror up top, um, a bathtub, um, a shower. So let's, we can go in the shower. This is my simple little walking shower design. Um, if you guys want to copy this idea, you can. It's just um, glass, slabs, and water. <laughs> pretty easy. And then right here is a toilet. So, yeah, pretty standard bathroom. Nice little luxurious bathroom that you'd expect in a building like this. And now let's check out the bedroom. Now, the bedroom is on the first, on the lower unit, so actually pretty big. So, right here is my nice little bedside design with some chests and stuff right here we've got a bed right here and i don't know why how i came up with this idea but i just really like the idea of doing like a a tv that kind of like hangs from the roof like this and apparently um whoever lives in this unit apparently is watching the return of the creepers <laughs> i don't know whatever <laughs> that movie is and then i just i looked up pictures of like residential buildings like central park tower and 432 park avenue and saw that there was always like a couch in the bedroom or like a chair or something so i just decided to put one in these as well put a nice little carpet to break up the floor and yeah it looks like the sun is setting i'm gonna clear the weather but not the set today because i think it'll be nice let's watch the sunset over there very nice little sunset alrighty so that is pretty much what all the residential units from for the first few floors are like, so let's just go ahead and skip until they change. So, all the way up to... Well, actually, I'll show you this real quick. Just like before, I did, I do have some mechanical floors just to make this realistic, because in real life, some of these buildings have mechanical floors on some of the floors, or else where would the plumbing and everything work? And once again, I don't know how to design good-looking mechanical floors, so... 
I just did random stuff. Don't even ask what I did, but I just put some like random stuff like pipes, some iron bars, some electrical looking stuff. Right here is actually my special bat killing device so that whenever I build stuff, if it's dark and bats spawn, this device right here using command blocks and a redstone block kills bats. So this is awesome. If you guys want me to... Well, actually, this device is... I didn't really come up with the design of this device. This device has been around for quite a bit of time, but um, if you guys want me to do a video on how to make this, let me know down in the comments below. It's a, it's actually very, very simple. It'll take like less than a minute to build. Um, and then, yeah, obviously this is a mechanical floor. So I suck at designing mechanical floors, so, uh, uh, but I did the best I could. All right, so there we go. Let's go up another floor. So here we are on floor 14. Um, this The residential unit layout does change a little bit. So... Um, if I remember correctly, I think this is a bedroom, yeah. The bedrooms do get a little bit smaller as we go up, just because obviously you don't have as much room. So once again, I did the overhang from the ceiling design for a TV, and it looks like these people are watching Return of the Creeper as well. <laughs> so, yeah, oh yeah, I don't want to set the time today, I actually kind of want to see at night, because this building, I mean, because I have some nice lighting and stuff going on here, the building actually, actually it's nice to check out the building at night. Once again, the kitchen design is actually exactly the same for all the units, so not really much, too much different here. And then once again over here, um, nice family room. And on these units, I actually moved the bathroom to over here. So once again, um, right here is a toilet, and I placed all this and polished and the site to kind of give yourself some privacy. But if you still want to kind of have a nice view while bathing or something, once again, my shower design right here and double sinks. So, yeah, bathroom is pretty much exactly the same in each unit, so... Yeah, so that's this unit. Um, pretty much... Oh, crap, I did not mean to bust down your door. Sorry to whoever lives here. <laughs> I'll, it's okay, I'll, I'll put, give you a new door for free. There we go. Um, so yeah, pretty much all these units from this floor all the way pretty much almost to the top are pretty much exactly the same. Sorry that, guys, I keep saying pretty much over and over. So what I'll do now is I'll go once again all the way up to the highest residential floor and I'll show you my residence because of course since I built this building and it's the tallest residential building in my city, of course I had to give myself the highest, um, the highest um, condominium. So we are all, that ends up being on floor 32 and as you can see here it is floor th 30, I mean not 32, 34. We are on floor 34 one, as you can see it says Jones RMJ's residence. So here is a look at my residential unit. It pretty much is almost exactly the same. I just modified a few things here and there. So yeah, um, I mean this, just to give you an, up, an idea of how high we are, I mean you can't really see because it's actually, you know what, I'm gonna set it today just so we can see a little bit farther. You can see just to, get an idea of how high we are. You can see there's the road all the way down there. So we are pretty high. <laughs> so, and then right here is my bedroom. So once again, I have a nice, I decided to give myself a green bed since kind of the channel, one of the channel color themes of my channel is green, plus green is my favorite color. So I gave myself a green bed. Um, I am, I don't know what I'm watching right here. I'm watching a, a nice sunset scene. Or maybe this is just a, my TV screen saver. I don't know. <laughs> We can also get a view, oh yeah, there's another view of looking straight down. <laughs> we are extremely high up, as you can, I'm sure, tell. <laughs> so there's my nice little bedroom. Then we go over here, here's my nice little kitchen. Once again, pretty much the exact same design as the other kitchens. Um, over here is my nice, um, my nice huge 85 inch TV, <laughs> where well, I don't know what I'm watching, I guess my TV is off right now, so. Yeah, and then here's a view looking straight down. Oh, you can see the pool down there. You can see, yeah, we got pretty high pretty quickly. There's my pool all the way, there's the outdoor pool all the way down there. <laughs> and then once again, bathroom is pretty much exactly the same. We're not going to go in there and waste time. So, uh, please stop raining. I hate this, all this rain. Go away, rain. Nobody likes you. <laughs> all right. So, that is that floor. And then once again, above here is a mechanical floor. And then... Um, for the, I did also put some lounge floors, floor 36 and floor 37 are lounge floors, so the residents can come up here and spend some time with, while having a nice view outside, so, uh, right here I did a smaller TV with, uh, once again, some chairs, some couches, 
Um, right here is a bathroom. Um, pretty much just a simple little lounge design with some stuff around. Right here is a nice little outdoor deck. So if the residents want to, I don't know, do something outside, maybe I might put like a nice little table up here or something. But yeah, you can see we are pretty high. Oh, ooh, oh gosh, I almost fell. You can see, let's crouch so that we don't fall. You can see we are very, very high and not quite the highest occupable floor which we'll get to that in a second. The observation deck is right up there. So we will check out the observation deck soon. So floor 36, and then if we go to the highest floor accessible by residents, that would be floor 37, where I have some, I have a pool table, I mean, not pool table, this is a ping pong table. I actually do have a pool table over here. So pool, ping pong up here, and once again, some more couches and chairs, bathroom is over here, that's a restroom. Yeah, pretty much just the same kind of stuff. So actually, instead of taking the elevator, aka ladders, all the way back down, let's just go ahead and break our way out so we can quickly get back to the bottom floor and do the observatory. So just give you an idea of how high we are. This is how high we are, and we will check out the observatory up there right now. So let's go ahead and fall all the way down. We splat. <laughs> and let's go ahead and check out the new observation deck I created. So as you can see right here is the science that's observation deck. So if you want to visit this building and go all the way up to the top floor, you just need to go right down these steps into the basement. And then right here is the ticket and welcome center. So these are supposed to be like the kiosks where you can get buy like tickets electronically or if you like the good old fashioned way, there's a desk right here where you can buy tickets from as well. And I decided to call this Ward Observatory because, once again, this is the Ward Residential Center, so I'm just kind of theming everything out after Ward. So, yeah, once you go ahead and buy your tickets, you can then come right over here. This is where you can enter, and right here are line forms to take the elevator all the way up top. So, obviously, there was no line because we are here pretty early. <laughs> so, and then we can wait right here, and then once it is time to go upstairs, we can. And then... This is the elevator ride all the way up to the top. So you want to guys time how long it takes for this elevator to get to the top? Let's do it. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 seconds to get to the top. That's pretty fast. I'm not sure um, what the world record is right now for the fastest elevator to go from the ground floor to an observation deck, but that is pretty fast right there, especially given that this will be one of the tallest buildings in my city. So, yeah, here we are on floor 38. So... I didn't really know what, what to do for design this observation deck other than leaving it pretty open, but I did go ahead and put some seating right here in case if anybody wants to sit down. There is a restroom up here in case if anybody needs to use the bathroom while being all the way up in the sky. And yeah, just a lot of great areas to view the city. I mean, obviously this is the only building right now, so there's not much to look at, but yeah, you can see just how high we are. If we are, it is a, I mean, you can't really tell because right there's the outdoor balcony, but we are quite a bit ways up. <laughs> I mean, once I build around here, we'll just be able to get some. Just imagine what the views will be like from this, from the 38th floor of this building once we build more around. It, I just, I mean, even when I just build the park down there, I'm excited to see when I build my mini little park down there, what the view looks like from all the way up here. It'll be quite a bit of a view. You see all the way down there is the pool on the fifth floor. <laughs> You hear some, there's the road down there. You can see just how high we are. We are very, very high. And yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I'm not going to take the ele uh, elevator all the way down because you can't really fly down really fast. So one of the things I will show you that I forgot to show you down in the observation deck is, well, let me just go ahead and come down here. And... Let's go down in here. Let's once again backtrack our way back over to the elevator over here. So let's say you just came down from the observation deck. Obviously, yep, you would exit this way because obviously you don't want to go through a line. And then right here, I did do a mini gift shop, as you can tell right here. So right here is checkout. This is supposed to be like the cashier thing or the cash register or Tilly if you're in the UK, whatever you call this. 
I'm from the United States, so we just call them cash registers. <laughs> and then right here, I don't even know what this stuff is, but I just played around with stuff. I don't know. This could be like the picture of the sunset from the observation deck if you want to buy that. And I don't know what these could be. These could be like maybe paintings or models or puzzles, and whatever they sell at like observation decks. I've actually been to quite a bit of observation decks in the world. I've been to One World Observatory, I've been to the Sky Deck in Chicago. I've been to uh, One Liberty in Philadelphia. I've been to quite a bit of observation decks in the world, so. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up everything in this building. I know we went through stuff very, very quickly, but that is just because this is extremely similar to my last World Residential Center. The only difference is I just made it look much, much better on the inside. So I guess while we go ahead and finish out this video, let's just go ahead and do some fly arounds of the building. So I'll do a quick little um, fly around at day and then we'll switch it to night and then we'll end this video so yeah guys let me know down in the comments below what you think do you think I did a much better job this time around I think I did I think the interior of this building looks so so much better than it did last time and I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys um I hope you guys enjoy my Minecraft videos because it seems like you guys really like my tallest buildings videos So I'm hoping that you guys like my Minecraft architecture videos just as much So it seems like my channel is kind of mostly based around architecture since I mean based on my logo is a city skyline that I kind of designed with my graphic software and um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and uh, I do a lot of videos on like skyscrapers and stuff, so my channel is kind of like architecture, so Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite skyscrapers I've ever built. It is hugely inspired off of Central Park Tower as you can tell But yeah, a new thing for this building is actually you can see down there You can see the little R. I, I decided to instead of just leave a blank um, Gray wall, I decided to put the R logo down there for like residential center so all right, and look at that. It's almost twenty night. Perfect timing. Let's uh, let's just speed it up real quick. So here you go. Here's some views of the building at night, and I think this building lights up super nice at night. I think I made it light up even better than my old building. Plus, I think I just think this building like I just think everything about this building looks so much better since I redesigned it. I just redesigned it to give make floor look much better. I just yeah, I just think everything is just so much better about the building this time around. So. Yeah, once again, quick little fly around. Um, yeah, guys, once again, as I said below, um, please go ahead and follow me on Twitter, because on Twitter, I do want to do polls on where you guys can vote what videos you want to see from me next the most. And I, I really do guys want to like listen to your feedback because you guys are the ones that are watching these videos. I mean, obviously I'm watching them too, but I if I did if I were just building this stuff for myself and I didn't care about making videos, obviously I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. But the fact that I'm posting these on YouTube, I want I really want you guys to like this stuff, and I hope you guys like it and want want to see more of this stuff as well. And if you guys want me to do less Minecraft videos, then, well, I'll do less Minecraft videos. I mean, I'll, I'll still uh, do Minecraft videos because I, I like the game, and, I, and obviously, like, I want to do some things I like on my channel, but, I mean, my channel is, is mostly for you guys, so I want to do most, I want my channel to be mostly stuck content that you guys like, so, yeah, alright, I think that's pretty much just about a good enough flyover for the, my new residential center building, so, yeah, guys, that just about wraps up this video, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss my next video for the building. Um, hopefully I'm going to start working on the park next, and I'll do a video for that that's right next to this building. It's not going to be the main park, and I am going to do uh, more parks. I'm going to do like a main park, like a central park or a grand park or whatever major park in a city you want to think of. I'm going to do a major park as well, but I also want to do a smaller park right here. Because I want my city to, because most cities these days, like New York, like there's all this construction and there's like barely any greenery and the cities are dirty and stuff. I want my city to be organized and clean and have an, a good amount of greenery in it. So you guys will definitely notice that as I build more. So. Yeah, guys, once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.